Mmm. Mmm. I like it. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. 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 Photography is a lot like baking. Every photo has a certain number of ingredients, and depending on how you mix those ingredients together, you can end up with a really great shot or a not so great shot. One of the tips that really helped me in the beginning was finding out the exact settings I used for a particular shot. So if I took a really good photo and I wanted to mimic that same look, I could go in and see the exact settings that I used. On the flip side, if I took a bad looking photo, maybe the subject was kind of blurry or there's a lot of image grain, I could go back and try to figure out why that happened. Thankfully, our cameras include all of this information into each photo that we take, and it's called metadata or EXIF info. If you already have photos on your memory card, all you have to do is just change the playback mode to show you the settings that were used for that shot. While this is super helpful, there's a secret ninja tip that will allow you to see the metadata for any photo, including photos that you find online by other photographers. When you're just getting started, it's really helpful to see what other photographers did to get that type of look. Now, while there are a ton of different ways to view metadata, I wanna share with you one simple tool that works across every single device, every operating system. It's a tool developed by Jeffrey Friedel, and it's called the Metadata Viewer. I'll link to it down below. Once you get to the webpage, you'll see that there are two different options. The first option allows you to copy the image URL from any photo you find online. It could be from someone's blog or someone's photo gallery. The second option allows you to upload a photo from your computer or from your mobile device. And once you hit go on the following page, you'll get to see the secret sauce. Now, right at the top, you get to see the gear that was used. I find this really helpful because if there's a certain look, like a really blurry background, or maybe the photo looks really, really wide, you get to see the exact gear that the photographer used for that particular shot. Right below the gear, you'll find the settings. You'll see the photographer used aperture priority mode. The aperture was set to F4, the ISO was set to 400, and the camera chose a shutter speed of one over 80. Once you know all the ingredients to make a good looking photo, you can go out and do it yourself. Oh no. What? I'm getting a sugar rush. I get sugar. Ah! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching episode 24. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. If you're on YouTube, remember to subscribe so you can see my videos each week. And if you haven't checked it out already, I'll post a link to episode 23 up here and down in the description below. I show you how to get really sharp eyes anytime you take pictures of people. Hope you guys have a great rest of the week. Happy clicking.